hello hello happy sunday everybody um still in my pjs here not not dressed yet um but kind of had an idea and i did do a video um when i did my previous christmas cards and i thought do you know what i actually can improve on this i can make this better so um i have a freebie in my Kofi site now the project i'm going to do is not for everybody probably um some of you might think it's a completely crazy idea um but this freebie would still make a brilliant kind of um little mini journal cover or little decoration for christmas um so you know go and pick up the freebie from kofi so i'm just going to cut this out um it's actually really important if you're going to use it for this project that you print it at 100 percent Oh, and I should just say, I have actually, this is the backing. So I've printed the back as well. And now I really am going to cut this out. So I've got my pieces cut out. You can see I've left these edges square. I'm just going to grab my little small corner punch and just cut that rather than cut with your scissors. You can do that. Obviously, it's very easy. Um, so those are your little spare bits. Um, this is essentially a Christmas card or your um, gift card holder. So it's so simple. We're just going to fold this in half. Open that out. Now, this is the little holder now you haven't got a lot of wiggle room with this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to glue the straight edge just lay that flat so i can do this as neatly as i can and you want your glue fairly close to the edge okay so just a bead of glue up the straight edge oh that's probably a little bit let's try and do that again okay and just along the bottom okay just along that bottom edge giving it as you know thin a bead of glue as you possibly can and then this is going to go onto the left hand side of the inside of the card if you're using this as a gift card holder if you're using it as um, just a little christmas card with a fancy envelope in then you can completely leave this out but you've got a little pocket there and this you could either stick here you can put a little eyelet in it and make it your gift tag um, i'm just going to fold that over for now now for this next part i'm going to grab my scoreboard and my little cover and i'm just going to score on these two lines And like I said, it's really important that you kind of um, print this at 100%. If you do it, uh, your standard printers usually come out automatically at 97%. It's going to be too small unless you're using it as a journal cover, a little Christmas card or a decoration or whatever you're doing. So now we have that. Now here comes the strange bit. These are, these are cassette cases. I bought these a while ago for a project and they are the ones with no lugs. They're called lugs if you want to do a search. I'm going to put a link down below to where I got these in the UK and they are about 55 pence each plus VAT if you need to pay your VAT. Okay, so they're about 55p each, um, which I think is still reasonable. It's a lot cheaper than buying an envelope for a gift card unless you use the standard shop one. But, you know, we're making this a little bit more special. So your little cover will slot inside your cassette case. Now, I occasionally do see these in charity shops and they do have the lugs. So you've got two options. What you could do is if you find yourself some cassette cases from a charity shop, you can just trim this off here. OK, and maybe file down the top of the lugs. It doesn't really matter that they're there, to be perfectly honest. Um, and if, like me, you are a girl of the kind of 80s era, you probably have some of these knocking around at home. Um, so we've got our little card. Let me just grab a gift card size. 
Okay, so this is roughly gift card size. Obviously, you'd have a nice brand new gift card. And as you can see, it will fit in there pretty perfectly. And then what you can do is you can pop it in your card. You can write your label and pop that in. You could make a little mini journal. You could add ephemera in here. You could put a little Christmas decoration in here, which would be super cute. Close that up and then you have your little gift card box. Now, I'm not going to leave it here. I'm going to decorate mine a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting. I would probably, I'm a bit addicted to these rub on labels at the moment. So I'm going to see what I can find to go on here. Now, if this is for a person, you could write your name down here. If it's, um, like I said, if it's a gift card, let's see what we can find to add to our little Right. Okay, I'm going to cut out this little Merry Christmas and I'm also going to cut out those little baubles. Yeah, so these little rub ons work just as well on the wood as they do on fabric and plastic. They do work brilliantly. So I just thought this was a bit fun, just something a little bit different. So I'm going to take off my backing paper, line up my little baubles you have to be a little bit careful when you're rubbing on these cases because obviously there's nothing underneath here there we go perfect and now i'm just going to pop on this merry christmas just going to decide where to where to put it Oh, that wasn't very straight. Never mind. There we have our little transfers. So obviously when this comes out, we've still got our little transfers on the cover, which I think is pretty sweet. Now, I want to go a little bit further. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to grab um, and attempt to use these yet again. Um, I'm going to put three on and I'm going to use the little, the centre of each bow. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue on each one. And I've done some of these um, over the last, I, I did some of these over the last couple of days. So they do, they do, um, the glue will hold on these plastic covers. Just line that up. Oh, whoops, that's all right. Oh. But you can really um, use your imagination with these. I think they make fantastic Christmas cards. Um, so you've got, this could be your Christmas card, um, outside like this is your envelope equivalent and then you can have your Christmas card on the inside but it sim it also makes a perfect um, gift card holder and like I said you could put journals in here you could put um, um, ephemera in them you could do all sorts of things with those so that's another one that I made um, and what I also did was um, make a couple of different variations this one probably wasn't quite successful i'm not so sure about the tree that i added there um but this one basically i've just made a christmas card um so i've just mounted a picture onto onto some cardstock and i made that exactly the size of the front so that was kind of the that's where this started really and this one what i've done is I've, I mean, I've only just started this one. Um, I've cut out a piece of my Snow Days kit, but what I had to do was I printed it onto A3 paper and I printed the images at 120%. And that way they were big enough to cut out the right size to fit in here. So you could use 
the freebie as a template to make other patterns you don't have to use the freebie as your cover so you could mix them up and make them you know a little bit different but um that was just my idea for kind of a fancy christmas card envelope or a fancy um gift card holder so i hope you like them i hope you go and grab the freebie even if you use it for something different um thanks for watching i will see you all really soon okay a couple of notices first of all i do have a playlist on my channel with all of the um, Christmas craft off collaborations that's happening with Rachel and Bella Crafts. So if you want to catch up on that, you can check out the playlist. I'm coming up next week. Um, actually, I'm on the 28th, so it's the week after. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a little while yet. And on Friday, the 17th, I will be doing a quick video to kick off um, the December daily kit and explain how you can find it, how you can play along. Um, so that is coming up too. Have a good weekend. I will see you all really soon. Bye.